Thanks for joining me, Animal Behaviourist Dr Joe Rigetti on Pet Problem Solved. Is your dog helpful in your garden? Or perhaps they're a little bit more destructive? And do you wonder why your pet eats grass? And is it good for them? And is your pet scared of certain people? Join us for answers to questions on these topics today. Why does my cat hate my boyfriend? Natalia from Rome has written about her cat Leo. At least I think that's the cat's name, not the boyfriend's name. I guess you're wondering what you can do about it as well, Natalia. Well, you know, some cats just enjoy the company of their owner. Your cat loves you, wants you exclusively to themselves. So I guess Leo's getting a little bit jealous. So if your boyfriend is definitely a permanent addition, then what I'd say is let him do some of the hard work with the cat. By hard work, I mean feeding your cat, perhaps grooming if he's allowed to. Just patting your cat, gently talking to him. Don't force himself on your cat, just do some positive things. So perhaps when you're sitting together, you can both be talking to the cat, perhaps both of you feeding some treats, and then he can take over the feeding routine, the grooming routine. That way the cat will start to really appreciate your boyfriend and hopefully you can have some beautiful time together. Why does my dog dig up the garden? Why does my dog bark in the garden actually. Henry from Marnington Peninsula in Victoria has asked me, his dog is always digging up his garden, especially after he's been out digging it up too. Well, I guess for dogs it's fun. If we're gardening, why shouldn't they be gardening? In fact, perhaps they can even help us dig up some patches. However, dogs don't know what are precious plants and what aren't. We have to instruct them. So I'd say if you have some precious plants, I would try and fence them off or, or relocate your dog to a different part of your garden. Dogs can dig for a number of reasons. They might be finding a spot to stay cool or to stay warm in the winter. They might be digging just for fun. They might be digging to burn off excess energy or perhaps because they have a little bit of separation anxiety from you. They might be digging because it just the scrubs and roots and tasty things down there in the soil. Instead of stopping them digging, perhaps it's better to encourage them to dig in an area like a sand pit that you provided. So one of those children's sand pits with a few toys or treats dug in there will encourage them to dig in that area. But you probably do need to fence off your precious areas too. Charlotte from England in the UK says her cat Poppy loves to eat grass every day when she gets outside she heads straight to the grass to eat it. Does this mean she's going to throw up? Does she have hairballs? Is she going to be sick? Well, look, cats do like grass. If you have a cat who's kept indoors all the time, it's a really great idea to provide them with some greens. Um, I have a, a pot here. It's just normal cat grass. It's allowed to grow along, sits on my windowsill, and I get it out and put it right next to where the cats eat. You can provide all sorts of different types of cat grass, cat nip, cat mint for your cat. Some will eat it some may not. It's not an indication that they're sick, but they certainly do seek out particular blades and types of grass. So there may be something in them self-monitoring and choosing plants that are good for their health. So although cats are carnivores, they do often enjoy a bit of a green diet too. This episode is made possible by Pet Problem Solved. Check out our website, petproblemsolved.com.au. I'm Dr. Joanne Rigetti, Animal Behaviourist, and I'm here to answer your pet behaviour questions. Is your dog scared of going to the vet? Well, Andy's French Bulldog, Monty, in Christchurch, New Zealand, is definitely scared. He shakes every time he goes to the vet. Being scared of the vet is quite natural for most pets. They've had some unpleasant experiences there. So what we need to do is replace those unpleasant experiences by many, many pleasant ones. So take your pet to the vet as often as you can. If you're going past the vet, just give them a call and say, do you mind if I pop in? A lot of the vet nurses will give your dog a treat when they get there, making it positive. 
If you do this and the vet is not actually seeing your dog, then it becomes a pleasant experience for your dog. Then when they actually need to go and be seen by a vet, they may actually even look forward to that experience. So have patience and go little and often if possible. Thanks for watching or listening to Pet Problem Solved. In my podcast, I go into these issues in a little bit more depth, but you can also check them out on our website, petproblemsolved.com.au. If you have a question you would like answered, send an email to info at petproblemsolved.com.au. Look after your pets.